Hello and welcome to Nate's Studio Desk. Today we're going to look over ARCHICAD vs. Revit and with a surprise two programs uh, that you may not consider when thinking about a BIM software. So this obviously is one of those topics where there's an ongoing debate and this video will really be about what type of information you need to make the best choice for your firm or you personally or you as a student. So I wanna say with any tool, it's really up to the user to maximize that tool. You can use a really powerful tool uh, in a very inefficient and ineffective way. And so both these tools is really up to the user on if you can use them effectively or not. So, but with that said, there are still things to consider when choosing between these two programs. And I think the first thing to consider is if you are a Mac user or a Windows user. If you are a Mac user or Mac-based firm, Revit is it's basically a non-starter. I mean, you can't, you, maybe you could use Bootcamp, maybe you could use some other programs that allow you to run it simultaneously, but I just don't think it's gonna give you the type of performance that you want at the end of the day. It's gonna be, it's just not native to that, to that system and so, it's not gonna work well. And so ARCHICAD becomes the choice. That's kind of, that's over. Uh, I think the next thing to consider is location. If you're in a location that has a lot of ARCHICAD users, a lot of firms that are using ARCHICAD, a lot of ARCHICAD experts and vice versa and or Revit experts, that would be a huge consideration for me. If there's people in the area that know a lot about the tool, they're gonna help you use the tool really efficiently. Being able to hire a BIM manager is really important, especially for that initial setup because there's a lot of efficiencies that are built into this program. You don't wanna use this expensive program like you would use AutoCAD or you know another CAD program. This is a BIM software and it's really meant for efficiency and documentation and streamlining that process. So it's, it's imperative of you to really use that tool efficiently. The next thing to consider is the size of projects that you do as a firm. I think if you are a firm that does smaller one-off projects, maybe residential or even larger scale projects, but uh, they're not usually the same. They have a lot of different constraints and they're more one-off very particular to that site and that uh, program, then I would probably lean a little bit more towards ARCHICAD. If I were doing more like skyscrapers or office buildings or sort of very similar at its bones buildings, but maybe the skin gets changed or something, or I'm doing a larger scale projects in general, I would probably lean a little bit more towards Revit. I just think that the object library and the ability to build up customized families and families within families in Revit, it just works smoother and is easier than editing and building up objects in uh, ARCHICAD. So for instance, the reason why I say this for the, the bigger projects for Revit or lean a little bit more towards that side is you can have a whole stair core, bathroom core, you know, and you can kind of just place that and you know, okay, you need five bathrooms and you click a button and you have four bathrooms and you can change the furnishings by just clicking a button. There's a lot of these, once you build up the families, which is really possible to do in Revit because they make family editing relatively easy to do, whereas GDL editing is, is complicated and, and it, it just takes longer even if you know how to do it. Okay, now we're going to go to cost. Okay, so this is where I'm going to bring in my surprise software. So Revit and ARCHICAD, I think at the end of the day, they are comparative in price. They're pretty close. You know, maybe Revit's a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, I think at the end of the day, they're basically a similar price. Now, if you are a budget office and you might be using SketchUp or you might be using AutoCAD and you're like, oh, I kind of want to do BIM, like, maybe not, I don't know. I think that a potential for you would be go use Rhino and Visual Arc. This is a very cheap option. And not only is it a cheap option, but first of all, Rhino is one of the best programs out there for design and architecture. Now pair that with Visual Arc, which allows you to do awesome visualization and do 
it makes it into a BIM software. Now I have used Rhino in an architecture firm doing multi-story projects and they didn't even have Visual Arc available. A tenth of the price and you get a similar performance. And so I, I don't know, I'm, I'm sort of, I think in the future we might see Rhino become sort of the BIM software. If you pair Grasshopper and Visual Arc, you know, as Visual Arc gets better, as Rhino gets, I don't know if it can get better, it's already as good as it can get, and Grasshopper, I mean, it's sort of combining all those tools of best design tool and then getting the best BIM software. So that brings me to my next point, documentation and efficiency. And when you look at these two programs, they really have a different logic and way of thinking through where they filter out and use visibility graphics. Now, with both programs, visibility graphics can be frustrating, especially if you come into a firm and they have certain standards and they don't want you to change their sort of default visibility graphics, but you're being asked to, to show, hey, I wanna show this wall darker and then all of a sudden you have to adjust their default visibility graphics. In ArchiCAD, it feels like there's so many times where there is a different override. And, you know, theoretically you could do that in, in, in Revit too, but the visibility override in Revit, I just think is more intuitive and that just maybe just from how I've used both of them. But I have found that in ArchiCAD, there's sort of all these sort of like gymnastics that you have to consider. So I think graphic wise, I have seen the plans that come out of ArchiCAD actually look really nice. And I think there's just a little bit more ability to customize it, but at the same time, there's more loops. Whereas Revit, I feel like the base graphics, just when I just look at architecture sets in the office with a Revit and a, a Revit office and ArchiCAD office, that ArchiCAD is going to have, it just will have nicer line work. And I think that does depend, you know, on the office too. However, when I think about efficiency, I will have to say, I think Revit, as far as it is, how it's used currently is more efficient because families are such a powerful thing in Revit and ArchiCAD's GDL objects are really annoying to edit because you have to learn their code and they, with their newest release, I made a video about it. They did come out with Paramo, but it's a very limited kind of visual scripting thing, which hopefully in the future will be expanded on. But as of right now, Revit's efficiency with the ability of families and doing families within families and families within families is incredible. I mean, you could basically have a whole building like out of the box if you build up your Revit family library. Design flexibility and sort of just the environment and, and intuitive, you know, what would you like to be working in every single day? Now, I think this one's a little bit personal, obviously, but just things to think about for you and how you like to use programs. I would say that ArchiCAD is a little bit more intuitive and you can access things quicker and sort of immediately. So what I mean by that, like you can automatically just make a curved wall and you can automatically, like if you're making a morph, you can just make it do whatever. And I, and I think that's a benefit and a limitation in a way to ArchiCAD because it sort of allows you to do everything immediately and sometimes you don't wanna do stuff immediately. With Revit, there's a couple more steps and it's not as intuitive. However, once you learn Revit, it then starts to make sense and you start to like it. Uh, but I will say there's a little bit more of a jump. It's a little bit harder to get to that feeling of, oh, I can design anything and be really flexible with it. It takes longer. What I will say about Revit, which I really like, is that you can control stuff with dimensions really easily. And this makes creating objects really quick in floor plan. It definitely is good for rectangles, uh, but I just like that fact that I can move objects with dimensions and ArchiCAD doesn't have that functionality. Another thing I would like to say is there are a couple other tool BIM softwares out there um, that I am less familiar with. Like I actually even have their t-shirt here, which is Vectorworks. Uh, could also be another option. Um, we just have to look into that. But I think um, as far as the knowledge base, a lot of people do know ArchiCAD and, um, and Revit. 
And a dis- especially in the U.S., Revit is definitely sort of like the powerhouse and most people do use Revit and expect that you know Revit and how to use it well. So those are the things to think about. The next thing to consider is online support forums and tutorials that are available for each program. This is where I found that Revit had a little bit more in terms of amount of videos on YouTube. They have people like uh, the Balkan Architect who does a bunch of awesome videos on Revit. And when it comes to ArchiCAD, the resources are a little bit less, at least in the US and in English speaking uh, forums. And a lot of them are a little bit out of date uh, using older versions where it's not necessarily applicable. In terms of YouTube videos for ArchiCAD, there's, you know, Eric Bobro who does a wonderful job. Um, However, there's not sort of, um, there's not as many videos and tutorials and courses available for ArchiCAD yet. That might change in the future. Other thing I would consider, which goes along with location, is sort of who are you hiring? And if there's people that already know a certain software, you know, if there's sort of in that pool of people that you're hiring, if most people know Revit in that pool of hirees, potential hirees, or most people know ArchiCAD, that to me would make a big difference because if you have this sort of what seems like a, you know, this software that no one uses, when someone comes in, they're not going to have that expertise that they may build up. They may have used Revit or AutoCAD for, you know, eight, 10 years, and now they're coming in and learning a new software. So I think that is a di- an additional thing that sort of goes along with the location of what to think about when purchasing either of these tools. As a student or, or aspiring architect, I think it's really helpful to learn both these tools. Uh, obviously, no firm is going to hire you, you know, just based off of the tools that you know. But I think it is, is helpful if you are versed in both these, these programs and it will certainly help and sort of broaden your reach and uh, ability to get a job. And also knowing both of these programs, you also start to infuse different things that work really well in that program and other things that work well in that. And you can bring really good insights into each program and have them work and function better and in ways that people that sort of only use Revit, you know, sort of only use Revit in that certain way. Uh, Whereas once you get someone who, came from ArchiCAD into Revit is going to bring new things and new ideas of how to optimize the tool. I will say that there are a lot of exciting new add-ons and features that I've seen from Revit and also used. Uh, There's certain stuff like generative design and also Dynamo works pretty well and also um, Tally which is an environmental analysis tool. Um, So in terms of add-ons I think there are some really exciting stuff from Revit and ArchiCAD has that too. And you know, part of it's, I haven't explored to the full extent of the add-ons to ArchiCAD. Um, but just, I think out of the box, I mean, if you're looking at, you know, Dynamo or generative design, uh, options that you can do within Revit, that's, that's sort of something to keep in mind. Uh, I do think it seems like Revit does something and then ArchiCAD kind of like follows up with it in later versions. Cool. Well, I hope this was helpful and uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Have a good day. Bye.